Hey guys, it's Keith Kelfis, and I just want to give a quick shout out to Jill's office. And I use Jill's office in my service business. I have been for about three years now, and they're awesome. And what they are and who they are is a company and team of professionally trained virtual receptionists who are very, very good at answering the phones for service business owners just like you and I. See, if you're a solopreneur or maybe you've got a multi-million dollar company, it doesn't matter. They can answer all of your phone calls for you or just take the overflow calls of the calls you don't have time to answer. So they have something called conditional call forwarding, which means you can just forward your business line directly to them to take all of the calls, or you can program it to where if you don't pick up the phone within so many rings or you forward it, it'll automatically go to them. So if you're in the field working or taking care of another customer, you might even be on vacation. This is awesome. Your calls will never go unanswered ever again. And they have monthly packages. You can learn more about this at jillsoffice.com and just say the word or type in the word or tell them untrapped is how you found out from the untrapped podcast. And the code word is untrapped and you can save $25 if you sign up with Jill's office. But nonetheless, what they do is they pick up the phone calls and they're not just any calling center. They are highly trained professional virtual receptionists that specialize in answering calls for service businesses just like yours and mine. See, I was a little scared and apprehensive thinking nobody can answer the phone like I can in my business because I know my business like the back of my hand and I know how to talk to my customers and qualify them over the phone. Well, that wasn't true because I remember the day I was stressed out and I had a lot going on and I finally turned my call over to Jill's office because I couldn't take it anymore. And the first day they were already picking up and answering the phones and had booked like uh, they took 12 or 15 calls and they booked me appointments. So I do my quotes on Mondays and they'll book out all the quotes for you on Mondays. If you have quotes, they can actually sell and close jobs over the phone and book it directly. If they use your CRM, they use a lot of different CRMs. Like I use a jobber. They use that too, but they can literally book it for you. So this makes you money, right? It's very cool. And it's different than having somebody on staff that you have to put on payroll or put in an office they're virtual. So you can turn it on and off anytime you need to, which means that if it's, I don't say it's the winter time and you don't need them anymore, you can just put your account on dormant mode for just a small nominal monthly fee. And what that does is it keeps all of your scripts intact because they have you create all these different scripts and all these conversations and training around. You, you, they already know what to do, but you train them how you want them to say specific things like pricing and service areas and zip codes you work in so they can make sure they can do all that for you. But nonetheless, I've been using Jill's office for three years and what a smart, smart move. And this is the wave of the future. So check out Jill's office. Either if you call them, say on the phone, untrapped, or if you go to the website at jillsoffice.com, just type in the word untrapped. You were referred to them and by me and you'll get 25 bucks off. So nonetheless, I hope you try out Jill's office. Jill's office provides friendly, professional receptionists for small business owners just like you. We can help answer your calls, and we can even schedule estimates and jobs for you. Try Jill's office today and get a $25 discount when you say untrapped. Just go to jillsoffice.com. In this video, I want to talk about change orders and not getting ripped off because you will get ripped off if you don't do this. What's up? I'm Keith Kelfis on this YouTube channel. We talk about how to go from zero to 100K in your business. So if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing because we talk about real stuff and real hard lessons that I've learned. Just stuff that'll help you take your business to the next level. Summertime, summertime, love sin is proud. So here's the way this works. You're on an existing project. You're trimming the bushes, the trees, you're cutting the lawn, you're installing a whole landscape. But whatever you do, a lot of the time, especially on bigger ticket projects, the customer sees you and your crew working, they get excited, and they want to start adding more work. And this is the point where you have to be very, very clear and have self-discipline and not let your emotions get in the way. And you gotta say, okay, Let's talk about this. If you want us to install some shrubs, right? This is going to cost you extra money. So that's when you go get your tablet or your work order, your invoicing software, and you create what's called a change order. And you better do it on the spot. 
or let's say you're doing an existing landscape project and now the customer wants to upgrade and have all of their gutters become buried gutter downspouts, right? And this is a new part of the job. Well, you might get excited because at some of these higher ticket jobs, when these customers see you and your crew working and you're reliable, you're dependable, you're doing great work, you're showing up in a timely manner, they get excited. They want to invest more with you. This is where you're going to be very careful. Here's the mistakes that I've made and the biggest things that stopped me and made me literally get ripped off or lose money. <laughs> when the customer wants something extra done, you have to stop even though you have a million things going on and you should anticipate this in advance. I talked to my buddy Stanley Genetic Dirt Monkey about this. He says every single job is change orders. That's 30% of our entire business. Expect and anticipate and plan for every single customer wanting to add at least 30% more work. So think about that in your scheduling. Think about that ahead of time and plan and prepare for it. It'll make better money and serve your customers at a higher level when you do this. You see this toad right here? This toad does not care about you. He doesn't care if you get paid. Look at him. He only cares about himself. He's a selfish toad. Watch what happens when I touch his leg. Come here. Oh, he's a good boy. Ooh. Oh, he's a good boy. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna name him? Tennis shoes toad. Cause look at this. I wear work boots with socks this low, like a dumbass. <laughs> Straight up burned my ankles. <laughs> now I'm wearing tennis shoes. Cause now the toad is gone. See, I let him escape because I was paying attention to the wrong things. That's how, that's how it was. the toad escaped. So on the spot, you want to take out your billing software. I use a software called Jobber. You can get a free trial of Jobber at GetJobber.com. Keith returns with more in just a moment. Hey, if you're looking for what is probably the greatest software ever to run your business on, go to GetJobber.com forward slash Keith. You can create proposals, invoices, collect payments, even track your entire business directly on the Jobber smartphone app. And if you want to get a totally free trial of Jobber right now, Open your browser, type in getjobber.com forward slash Keith, and if after the trial you decide you want to sign up with Keith's link, you'll automatically get 20% off your first six months. So what are you waiting for? Go to getjobber.com forward slash Keith. Once again, here's Keith Kalfas. If you're doing, let's say you're doing a $10,000 job, it could be a $1,000 job, it doesn't matter. What matters is when the customer wants something extra. You need to get out your billing software or whatever you use and right on the spot, create a brand new work order for that customer and probably even get paid in full for that extra thing or add it to the existing invoice and create a new balance and get a signature so they're notified and to make sure that you're getting paid. And that thing is at the very least added as a line item with the price attached to it that reflects in the total balance to the overall project. I can't tell you how many times, and customers are smart. If they're living in a half a million dollar home and they're driving uh, you know, Lexuses and BMWs and they're hiring you to come do their landscaping for the most part as a luxury service, right? They call you and they want you to do this work. You'd be surprised at how many times in the past I would say, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. And I would even say to the customer, well, let's talk about price because, all right, I'll get a little bit deeper. You wanna get deeper into this? Let's, get, let's talk about the scenarios. I used to have this one wealthy client who would purposely take advantage of me. We'd be working on his property and he'd keep coming outside and saying, oh, hey, what about this? Can you fix this? I say, yeah, I can do that. And then he would notice everything else on this huge property. Well, I want you to do it everywhere. Elevate all the trees, do all the brick paver repairs. Let's do stepping stones over here. Decorative stone here. Just do the whole property. Just kept it going on and on and on. And I was so overwhelmed and just trying to do the existing work and feeling like I didn't have time to say, stop, let's discuss this and negotiate this and get this down on paper. Cause I had other clients to get to, right? Like this is a real thing. Let's create another work order for this or an addendum or something. 
a change order. Let's get this locked in. And I would just start saying yes. And then at the end, I'm so embarrassed to say this. See, there's something called presumption, assumption, and tacit agreement. You're verbally creating contracts with your mouth when you're talking, saying, yeah, I'll do that. And then at the end, what are you gonna do? Just give the customer a bill for all the things that you did that they asked you to do. They called you and they hired you and they asked you to do it, but you never even discussed price. Now it's wide open for negotiation because you might say, here's an extra $1,200 in extra work. They'd be like, $1,200? I didn't know it was gonna be $1,200. Stop, stop it. Let's negotiate this and get it on a line item. Oh, you want more work done? Okay, so if you want this done, there's a lot of other things on your property. Let's just say these arborvitaes right here, right? The customer says, hey, can you trim these arborvitaes too? I like what you're doing. Stop. Yeah, I can do that. You wanna talk about that? Because you also look over here. You got arborvitaes over here too. And you got arborvitaes and you got shrubs and you got stuff all over the property. So do you want us to specifically just trim these arborvitaes? Or were you thinking, because when they say arborvitaes, this is very true. A customer might say, hey, can you trim these arborvitaes? In their head, they're actually thinking and building an expectation of all arborvitaes on the property, but they just pointed at these six arborvitaes. Yeah, yeah, we could trim those six arborvitaes. Oh, we could trim those six arborvitaes. You gotta get this all clear. And that's so you repeat back what the customer wants to them. You ask them questions and then you get it in the form of a contract and a change order and anticipate in advance. The number one thing that stops people from doing this is you might have anxiety or you're in a hurry. You're so knees deep in the project you got going on and the phone's ringing up and you got to pay your insurance bill. You got to make it to the dump on time. You got so much going on that this is one more thing that now you feel like you have to deal with. But you know and you've conditioned yourself that you got to say yes to the things that make you money. But you do it to a fault. That's where the change order comes in. I want to tell you a mistake I made where I allowed myself to get ripped off and it still bothers me to this day. And a few years ago, we did a landscape job for like 17,000 bucks. And part of the job, they had to have some construction done and some stuff. So we had to leave and come back and finish another part of the job. And I made it very clear with the customer. I got bone, but I made it very clear with the customer verbally. And they agreed with me that when we come back to finish this other part of the job, it will be a completely separate thing on a separate invoice, separate work order. I mean, separate money because I said, why? Because I won't even be able to know what this looks like after all the construction's done. So how can I tell? And the customer looked at me and agreed. So <laughs> the end of the job, we actually come back and fix that thing. And oh my God, I just realized it right now. They did play me because they said they wanted a quote. For Anyways, I didn't have any contingency in there. They're like, well, we thought that was part of the first invoice. We thought, and, and argued with me about it. And I was like, oh, I actually didn't do my due diligence of putting it in writing that, that even though we're gonna do this, it means we're not gonna do the extra work at the end. We're not gonna do this. I didn't put it in the original contract. I just thought it was tacit agreement and it became this argument and I ended up eating it. And I lost a couple grand because I didn't want to my customers to feel taken advantage of. And I totally messed up because I didn't create the change order. They also added a little bit of work in the middle of the job. They wanted some arborvitaes planted and stuff. And because they were so happy and they were spending money <laughs> and they were like my perfect customer. They wanted all this stuff done and they were happy to spend the money. I was happy that I just overlooked it. And when they wanted extra stuff done, the customer literally told me, he's like, just add it to the bill, right? I should have created the change order and, and put it right then and there because at the end it became an, an argument. I wasn't arguing, it's just people that are the nicest, coolest people in the world will change at the drop of a hat and become a totally different person. If you don't have that shit and contract, do it. This is what I use to do my contracts now. I use Jobber software. Go to getjobber.com slash Keith. You get a free trial, Jobber, or use any software. Just make sure you get a change order. It's starting to pour now, man. This is nice. <laughs> I can get the hell out of here. No, I'm trying to hustle, dude. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.
All right, guys, thank you so much for listening to the Untrapped Podcast. Please share this episode with somebody you think it will create value for. And we're quickly moving up the rankings in iTunes in the category of entrepreneurship. So if you could please just take a quick moment to click the link below or just go to the iTunes store and type in Untrapped Podcast. And please take a moment to leave us a well-written, positive five-star review. It would mean so much and it really, really helps the show. And as always, you can go to my website, keithkelfus.com to learn more. Or you can go to my podcast page on keithkelfus.com forward slash podcast. All right, I'll see you in the next episode.